Okay. So, in my mechanics paper, the June 2005, question 8, a nice big vectors question. Uh, everyone's favourite topic. Let's have a look what's going on. So, we've got a football player kicking a ball. So, the football player at point A, or the position vector of point A, where the ball and player is at the moment, is 2, 1. In column vector form, so 2i plus j. And we're also told some information about the velocity of the ball, which is 5, 8 in vector, column vector form. So the first part, nice standard question, asks us to find the speed. So if I just imagine I'm going 5 to the right, if I start here I'm going 5 to the right and then 8 up, means my vector is going to have a direction like that. That means I've got the horizontal component of 5 and the vertical component of 8 and it's going to be a right angle. So let's just add those on to our diagram just to check we understand. And this is the velocity of the ball. Now to find the speed of our ball, nice straightforward Pythagoras, square root of 5 squared plus 8 squared, which means that it's the root of 89, which is approximately equal to 9.43 ms minus 1, rounding to three significant figures. Okay, nice straightforward three marks there. Part B asks us for a very common thing, and either an expression or a position vector, something we often need. Um, and I like to think of it like this, that the final position vector, the final position vector is equal to the initial position where it starts out plus how it's going to move which is time times velocity. Now this is an absolutely key concept in mechanics for these vectors questions. Where it ends up is where it starts plus how it's moving for how long. So for us the position vector of uh, the ball at any time is where it starts 2 1 plus time multiplied by its velocity, which is 5, 8. And that will allow us to, by substituting different values of t, work out where it is at that time. So the position to the ball is where it starts, plus how it's going to move. Okay. Uh, very, very important idea for vectors questions. Moving on to part c. Well, let's just get that across in here, because we might need that. So position vector of the ball was 2, 1, plus time multiplied by 5, 8. Okay? We're also told that there's a point B on the field. So R of B, which is different to the ball, it's just a different point B, is 10, 7. Now we want to know where these are. One, the ball is due north of B. So, for the ball to be due north of B, you need to look and consider the I components. Now, the I components must be the same. So if one thing is directly above, and not in the same position, but directly above, higher or lower than something else, then its I component must be the same. Its same distance left or right from the origin must be the same, it's just higher or lower. So, if we allow this is where uh, column vectors come into their own, we can just read across. If we read across the i components for the ball, 2 plus 5t is equal to 10 in position b. So we can manipulate this, 5t is equal to 8, t is 8 over 5, which is 1.6 seconds. So after the ball is kicked, 1.6 seconds after the ball is kicked, it's exactly due north of the uh, point B in the field. Okay? Now, part D. At time t equals naught, another player starts running due north uh, from B. The person, the first person we were in the first part was just kicked it. And then this other player starts running from B. And he wants to move at constant speed. And he wants to arrive just exactly the same time the ball arrives kicked from the other player, so it's like a perfect through ball or a perfect pass that you can run onto. So, let's find the position 
vector of this player is where he starts his initial position which is at B, 10, 7 plus um, he's running due north so it's time times velocity and his velocity is naught V because he's not running, he's only running straight up so he's not all component to his velocity just running a speed V in the J direction so position, final position is equal to his initial position plus time times velocity it's the same thing we've used uh, throughout the question now, if he intercepts the ball, if he intercepts the ball um, at t equals 1.6, so if he arrives just as the ball does, 1.6 seconds later, then what he wants to do is 10, 7 plus 1.6 times 0 v, so we want to work out his position 1.6 seconds later, that's when the ball is going to be there. It's got to be the same as the position vector of the ball, which is plus 1.6 multiplied by 5, 8. So let's just remind ourselves of where the position vector of the ball is. The position vector of the ball at any time is t, 2, 1 plus t lots of 5, 8. So we've got a position vector for the ball, position vector for the player, and now we want them to be exactly the same point after 1.6 seconds when that ball is due north of the player. So we put 1.6 seconds into this uh, uh, vector equation here, we put 1.6 into this vector equation here, and we make the two things equal. Okay. Now actually we're not going to make it all equal, because you can see along the top that... Um, well, what are we going to get? We can see that actually we want to work out this value v, which is in the j components. So if we use the j components only from that expression, if we just use the j components, we can use that's where the ones that got the v in. We can read across the bottom now. 7 plus 1.6v is equal to 1 plus 1.6 times 8. So... 7 plus 1.6v is equal to 13.8. Check that on your calculator. And um, then what do we get? 1.6v is equal to 4.25 ms minus 1. So, uh, oh, my apologies. We find out that if we take away the 7 and divide by 1.6, we can find out that V is equal to 4.25 ms minus 1. Okay? So let's recap. Position vector of the player and position vector of the ball. Now, we want them to intercept, so we know the ball is going to be in a position due north of him after 1.6 seconds. So we substitute into this uh, uh, position vector for the player, we substitute it into the thing for the ball, and we get these two things equal to each other. They're in exactly the same place. Both the i and j components in this case must be the same. We just look at the j components, because that's the one that's got our v in we want to find. We make an equation, we solve it. Now, the last one is just a single mark, and we want to find that one physical factor other than air resistance, which will be needed to the refinement of this model. Well, in this case, we've considered the ball to be a particle. Now, as it's a particle, this means that uh, it has no dimension, has no size, it's just a dot moving around. Okay. Now, actually, in real life, if you're going to time a run, a football run, you don't necessarily have to get to a, the centre of the football. You need to get to the right place at the centre of the football in order to kick it, or to intercept it, or to receive it, or pass it. Actually, the, the ball has dimension, it has size. So you just need to be able to get to the side of the ball which is closest to you, so the front of the ball. So you need to take into account the radius or the diameter of the ball, the size of the ball. And that physical factor is not considered in this model. We just considered the ball to be a particle. So that's a problem. Okay? Again, you might want to go back over this and look at some of these key concepts when you pause the video. There's a couple of other videos uh, online, so you might want to track those down for vector questions as well. Okay? And good luck.